Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and today we are going to have a series on using the Windows File Recovery tool from the Microsoft Store. Now, this tool could have been better. Um, I wish Microsoft would have taken the time to create a, a GUI or a graphic user interface on it rather than having us do good old style, uh, you know, DOS-like commands, but well, Microsoft being Microsoft. Uh, it's not, it's to say that uh, there are some uh, rumors that it might actually be updated with a graphic interface eventually. But for now, it's command line only. And I'll explain how to, um, you know, recover files from different types of situations in upcoming videos today. So you'll know how to use it to recover your files. Now, this video is going to talk about what it can do and what it can't do. And this is important to understand, first of all. This is a tool mostly created in order to um, recover files from what is a healthy flash drive SD card or hard drive. Healthy means that it works fine. It is not a tool that is made for recovering of files of a drive that is failing, has bad sectors, or a flash drive or SD card that is corrupted. This tool will not work well with that type of situation. This tool was created for the people that might have deleted files, reformatted a drive to suddenly understand that they've lost maybe some really important stuff that they don't have any backups. So this is to recover from accidents. And that's important to understand. It will recover from SD cards. It will recover from USB thumb drives or flash drives. It will recover from R drives. If you have multiple R drives or partitions in your computer, it will actually recover from that. But there's a basic um, information that you need to know when you want to use this tool for file recovery. Remember that file recovery works as long as the files have not been rewritten or overwritten. That means when you wipe a drive clean, the less you will have done things with it, the less you have used it, the higher the chances of recovering files. If you start using a drive that you erased files, there are some chances that the new files will have actually taken over the space that the old files were using. In that case, your files will be um, you know, impossible to recover. So if you do realize that you by accident formatted or erased files, the first thing you need to do is stop using it and wait until you do the Windows file recovery tool to recover the files on them. What's cool on this is also that you can specify specific things. For example, you can specify a file. Maybe you have your um, you formatted the drive, but there's only one file that you need. As long as you know the name or the extension, you can actually tell the Windows file recovery here what you want to recover specifically. Of course, you can also have it recover everything on a drive. The only thing you'll have to understand is how to use it and how to write the, command, the proper commands to use it for recovery of files. And once again, if your file, if your drive is failing, you're losing files because of bad sectors, stuff like that. I don't think this tool is for you. There are other tools out there that might be better off. This is really for accidental erase of or formatting of drives or files um, only. So it's available in the Microsoft Store. Once again, all you have to do is go and. Um, search for Windows File Recovery made by Microsoft Corporation 
and once you have installed it well when you actually search for recovery you will see that the Windows file recovery is available and it brings up a command line style uh, interface to use at that time and that's where we're going to show you examples today of how to recover files uh, using a USB flash drive that I um, intentionally formatted to recover the files on it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.